Hey, what's up guys? It's S2G and welcome to the season finale of the Derby County Caramel Series and in today's episode we have games against Watford, Leeds, Blackpool and Millwall and guys if you're already enjoying this series up till now then don't forget to leave a like and yeah let's get into the first game of this episode. It's going to be against Watford and as far as I've seen that we need to win at least two of our four games to you know, secure qualification and let's see what we can do as you can see we are playing away from home against Watford. I'll show you guys the league table after this game and it's pretty tight. But as you can see they do have the first chance of this game at the ball is played to Vidra and he does score and honestly that was an excellent finish from him. So not a good start to the uh, you know season finale but a great goal from Vidra and unfortunately it was scored against us. That was a fantastic finish and a lot of you guys have asked me to sign him but well, we'll see what we'll do later, but they do have another chance and they miss it. So two good chances for them in the first 30 minutes of this game. But now we have a chance here as the ball is played to Agbon Lahore. He is through on goal, but his shot is saved by the keeper. A great chance for us to get back into this game, but unfortunately we couldn't. But then, guys, finally in the 82nd minute, yeah, Agbon Lahore still with the ball, but he gets taken down in the box. And that means we get a penalty, level things up. Let's see if we can do it. Come on guys, we can do this, we have a penalty, it's going to be Inch to take it and Inch strokes it in to the back of the net, a great penalty from him to make it 1-0, guys we're still in this, we've not lost yet and a draw would really help now, obviously we, you know, we've been losing quite a few games recently and yeah, drawing a lot of games, we lost against Crystal Palace in the FA Cup but we need to get direct promotion to the Premier League and as you can see guys we're now in second place but, but we're just a point above Charlton Athletic and two points above Wigan Athletic and it's so close guys we're like three points above Middlesbrough it's, it's just so close so we can't afford to drop points and now we have a game against Leeds United and I'm sure if we win this game we'll be in pole position to secure qualification to the Premier League directly because I don't want to finish in third because if I do that it's going to get tough to you know the playoffs are very unpredictable any team can go through so yeah as you can see we did have the first chance of this game as Jordan Lyme takes the shot from outside the box but his shot doesn't go get on target but then in the 10th minute here yeah, fantastic skills from Johnny Russell but his shot is deflected and then goes for a corner but we couldn't get anything out of that but then in the 45th minute here yeah, it's Johnny Russell with the ball he plays it to Mason Bennett Mason Bennett plays it back to Johnny Russell here yeah. Johnny Russell plays it to Bryson who shoots but then is found inside the box and we get another penalty well, I've been, we've been really lucky in this episode already and Johnny Russell smashes it in to the back of the net a great penalty from him as well and I was, as I was saying, we got like two penalties, quite, you know, easy ones. And yeah, now we're leading 1-0. But now we have another chance in this game. It's Johnny Russell with the ball. It's still Russell. He takes a shot. The keeper fumbles it. And then one of their players puts it into the back of the net. So an own goal has now helped us, actually. And then in the 60th minute, yeah, Mascarell gets the ball. He still managed to keep the ball with him. And he just smashes it in the roof of the net. A great goal from Mascarell. A great shot from him. And we've, I think this game is already done and dusted. And that's also his fourth goal in the championship. And as you can see in the 76th minute, they did grab a consolation goal. That was actually a pretty sick goal from them. A uh, really good finish as well as some good build-up play. But that doesn't matter really. We are winning 3-1 and it's the best possible result uh, right now. And I think if we do win this game, we do have a chance of like, qualifying. I'm not sure. Uh, but I don't think we have yet. And yeah, let's just see what happens now. And obviously, as you can see, 3 1, a great result against Leeds United. And as you can see, guys, now we have a youth squad monthly report. And as you can see, uh, our Carl McGuire is one of our uh, youth prospects. And this guy looks pretty decent 65 to 85, 67 to 85 potential. Let's get him further and see. And also, guys, I just checked the league table. And we are, it's not yet done because we're just a few points from qualification. If we do win this game, I think we've qualified so let's see what happens in this game against Blackpool and I really don't want to take the qualification process to the last game because it's going to get tense then but now we have a game against Blackpool as I said it's at home so we are the favorites for this game and as you can see the table right here if we do win this game I'm sure we have secured promotion but if we do lose this game it's going to get very interesting and as you can see it's Thomas Ince with the ball it's still Ince can he get the first goal of this game but his finish goes just wide a great chance for us to score first goal of this game in the 8th minute but unfortunately we couldn't but then in the 31st minute they had a chance here as the ball is with Madin here he traps it he still has the ball and look at that for a strike from him 
and unfortunately for us he does score so Blackpool are leading and that has put Derby County in a really troublesome position and then in the 66th minute they still have the ball here it's Perkins with the ball it's Perkins who plays it to Orlandi here it's still Orlandi Orlandi smashes it in the back of the net and then that means guys we're losing 2-0 to Blackpool and that means our qualification is going to be very tough can, we'll, can we get promotion guys can we it's going to be very tough guys as you can see Derby County have lost 2-0 to Blackpool and as you can see we're still in second place though with 75 points but if we if you I think our goal difference is better than Middlesbrough so if we draw our game I, I probably think we're through but still gonna be very close so really just don't know and also if we lose the game and they win and Middlesbrough win we're out we will have to be in the playoffs which is gonna be very hectic and let's see if we can get direct promotion to the Premier League. As you can see, they do have the first chance of this game with Sheffield Wednesday. Now with the ball, uh, I actually said it's actually club, but that was stupid for me. But they do score, guys. And Sheffield Wednesday are leading 1-0 to Derby County. I just don't know why I said Sheffield Wednesday with the ball, but we'll just ignore that. But now we have a chance here. It's Grealish with the ball. It's still Grealish. He decides to take a shot up pass. I really didn't understand. But the ball fell to Will Hughes, who just had to chip it in the back of the net a great goal from him but really I just don't understand what Grealish was trying to do here if that was a shot that was atrocious but if that was an assist it was actually pretty good and that's Will Hughes' third goal of this game but unfortunately for us he gets injured that means he'll be coming off and Hesse Lingard will be coming on who's been playing really well Scott he's growing a lot for me and he's one of my important players but then in the 62nd minute we were trying to get the winner but Jack Grealish is finished wouldn't just go in and then in the 63rd minute we had a corner to try and get you know the win and you know secure a qualification or promotion to the Premier League but it we, we hit the bar and then in the 65th minute Johnny Russell managed to get the ball but gets fouled inside the box and that means we get a penalty to completely change things can we this could be the winner and the goal that sends us the promotion and it is the goal it's 2-1 now Derby County 2 and uh, uh, Sheffield Wednesday won, so, but the guys, they do have a chance here. Hutchinson with the ball, now it's Maguire here. Maguire plays it to May, and the ball goes in. This is going to create some tense moments, guys, and that too, it's the 90th minute. I hope the other team, Middlesbrough, haven't scored too many goals, because if they have, we'll be in the playoffs. Guys, are you ready for it? Are you ready for to see the league table? Have we qualified, guys? It's going to be dangerous. Have we qualified? Oh my god, I just don't know. And you guys will see it in a moment. And there it is, guys. We have secured promotion to the Premier League, guys. And wow, this is just amazing. And it's on goal difference and just two points of goal difference. We've scored probably the least goals among the top uh, six or seven teams. But we still managed. I think we've scored probably... I, I think we've not even scored uh, more goals than like at least half of the teams there. I think like there are maybe like 12 or 13 teams that have scored more goals than us, which is pretty shameful. But when we strengthen our squad next season, I'm sure we can get the goals and all that. But as you would have seen, none of our players were in the top five goals or assists, which is, again, pretty disappointing. I really expected more out of my players. And unfortunately, they couldn't deliver. But we still secured promotion. That's the most important thing. But I was, like, surprised seeing the budget money which I got from winning, uh, coming second in championship. Like, 50,000 is, like, too less. But can't help it. And there's... The most important thing is we have secured promotion and as you can see the objective we have got like gain automatic promotion we did that and also get a good run in the cup we did that as well and now it's time for a squad report it's been a long time as you can see Lee Grant has gone up by two he's gone up in some of his goalkeeping stats now Bellerin has gone up by three immense growth and, and but unfortunately he's on loan so he leave Shorten has gone up by two Baker has gone up by two as well. Luke Garbutt has gone up by two, which is always good to see. You know, great left back. Will Hughes has gone up by one, only in his mental stats though. He's grown. And George Thorne is growing a lot. He's gone up by two, which is amazing. Bryson has not grown, but he's growing in some of his stats. Thomas Ince has gone up by one. Uh, Gabriel Agbon Lahore has gone up by one, even though he's 28. Jack Grealish hasn't grown at all, which is very weird. And I'm going to be using the loan glitch on him. Uh, some of you guys didn't know what it is. I'll tell you guys right now. So you send a player on a short loan and then as soon as they're sent on loan just recall them like after two or three days and their potential should get fixed so let's see if it works i'm putting james wilson uh and uh, this guy jack grealish as well as 
one more player which hasn't grown i'll show you guys in a moment later but as you can see some of these players grow uh, like hesse lingard and all they've been going really well and jordan i was one more player i'll be sending you know for a short loan to just get his potential fixed and if you guys are finding trouble to read the stats then i'll just feel free and pause the video and you guys can see it otegui has gone up by two which is great to see uh, mason bennett has gone up by four it's probably the most improved player of the season Fawcett has gone up by two Christie has gone up by two as well and this guy is going to be retiring and it really don't know who he is honestly and the rest of the players are all um, on loan and don't matter too much and we'll be signing off the new season in this episode I mean just like the transfer budget and you know our season expectations and all I'll show you guys all that and yeah but as you can see guys now it's time to have a look at our youth scout report and let's see if are any of you got any of our, any of any good players and unfortunately none of the players were good enough so well we'll be waiting next month and really these scouts are really poor like at least I need like a four star scout to at least expect good players but as you can see guys our Carl Maguire whose potential was between 67 to 85 has dropped down to 65 to like 79 so I really don't know what to do with him and as you can see the board are happy with us it's obvious right we got them promotion we got we did a good cup run and as you can see our objective for the uh, next season is to finish my table and I'm not sure I can do it with this budget guys 3.4 million is way too less and now it's time for me to ask you something guys should I use the financial takeover and I think I should use it but it's your choice leave it down in the comments below there is also a straw poll please vote and help me in this decision apart from that guys do leave your transfer suggestions for season 2 and I will see you guys in my next video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content and I will see you guys next time